Dear Jonas, um, the city. Let's see. Hello. Hello. The city. The CTO of Epishine is joining us yes. from, we moved back to Europe from the US back to Sweden, uh, Link Coping. And Indeed. Jonas Berkowitz, CTO of Epishine, uh, currently very successful company, um, also looking for employees. So if anybody is looking for a job, then uh, get in touch with Epishine and Jonas will share something. Uh, his topic is scaling up road to road manufacturing of OPVs for IoT applications. Perfect. Fantastic. Beautiful. No, thanks for that uh, kind introduction. So from a uh, uh, snowy and uh, cold Linköping, uh, Sweden, uh, I'll give a, a brief uh, intro here, as you said, to the manufacturing process, uh, printing of organic solar cells, mainly for indoor applications, looking a bit both on the manufacturing process or product, and then also a life cycle assessment that we recently have uh, performed on our, on our product. But first, uh, a brief introduction to Epishine. We were established in 2016. It's a spin-off from, from Linköping University and a research group of uh, biomolecular and organic electronics led by a professor called Ole Inganes. We are based uh, both production uh, R&D and, and headquarters in uh, Linköping, Sweden, about 200 kilometers southwest of uh, Stockholm. We are today a little bit more than 40 employees, a bit more than half of us uh, work with uh, production and technology development. We also have a, a dedicated team for product integration, basically taking our indoor solar cells and, and helping potential customers then to uh, integrate them into their products and of course sales marketing. Uh, main owners are uh, Swedish family offices and the focus of Epishine is development and manufacturing of organic solar cells uh, for low, low, uh, low light illumination environments. So brief intro also to the market we're trying to address. Uh, there is uh, a, a, a potential then for, for the uh, Internet of Things market uh, to grow exponentially. Uh, over the, the coming years. Uh, some forecast states huge number uh, of devices that will be then uh, installed per minute uh, in 2025. Uh, this will result in a lot of primary batteries. Uh, so uh, we believe that the Internet of Things uh, has to be self-powered to, to avoid getting uh, extreme, amount, uh, extreme amounts of, of primary batteries uh, out of landfill. Uh, so uh, at Epishan, we are then really focused on a smarter way to power electronics, basically meaning that uh, we then replace the solar cell, uh, or sorry, we replace the primary batteries in uh, connected sensors uh, with our indoor solar cell, uh, and then together with the intermittent storage can be a small rechargeable battery or a super cap. Uh, we can then replace the function of the battery and, and reduce the battery waste. And also as a value proposition, reducing the maintenance cost and, uh, for, for our potential customers. Uh, we have a number of products out on the market already now. Uh, to the top left here, you see a temperature and humidity sensor that's powered by our uh, standard 5050 square millimeter uh, indoor solar cell. Uh, so I said it's a temperature and humidity sensor, and then there is also a small super cap to be able to uh, power uh, the sensor during uh, nights and, and uh, weekends. Uh, this is for property tech facility automation. You also see a product up to the right, uh, right side, uh, M Climate. Uh, also here, temperature and humidity sensor. Uh, also down to the right corner, uh, you see one of these boards uh, where you can then report uh, how often you've cleaned. This is a digital version uh, of this that's powered by our uh, light cells. And uh, also uh, the, the final product we have out on the market right now uh, is a people counter uh, to, to keep track of how many people that uh, go in and out uh, of a room to be able to, to help uh, the planning of, of cleaning, etc. So, so facility cleaning management, basically. So a uh, brief introduction to, to what we do and, and the market and the value offering. Uh, so, so let's jump in a little bit more uh, to the technology that we have developed. We are working with organic solar cells, meaning that the active layer or the semiconductor is uh, made of organic materials. In our case, it's a polymer fullerene blend. We're not the only ones uh, working with organic solar cells and, and the classical way to manufacture these uh, you see uh, here to the left or construct the device. Uh, you have a, a typically a PT foil in the bottom uh, around 100 micrometer thin or thick. Uh, on top of this uh, you then apply uh, a, a 
Uh, Fin filmstack. 